Hello. Now I'm going to explain how you can install Spark NLP for healthcare in your local machine. Even though I'm using Windows as a subsystem, I've installed Linux Ubuntu on, on top of it, and the version is 18.04. I'm going to start with uh, creating a virtual environment because it's useful in this way. You can install those packages in this uh, virtual environment. This eliminates any possible junctions happening in your home directory. So now I'm going to activate it. Yep. I'm going to install PySpark first. Now I can, I mean, I need to check the Java version. You can check the Java version by using this command. If you, if you enter it, you're going to have a list of Java versions in here. For my default, I'm using Java 11. As you can see, it's my default. Uh, but keep in mind that, I'm putting the index number of zero. Keep in mind that if you're using Spark NLP versions 3. and above, Java 11 works fine. But if you're using below that, Please use Java 8 because otherwise you might have some incompatibility issues. So Java version is ready. Now I can install the open source version. It is done. Additionally, I'm a, I mean, it's, additionally I'm installing Jupyter Notebook as well. It is almost done. I'm going to start the notebook. So in this folder, I've already created my notebook, but if you don't have one, you can just click new here in Python 3 and create one. So. Yeah, I'm going to start with defining my serial keys. For these keys, like, you can get it here in the Johnson Labs website by just, you know, typing johnsonlabs.com. There's a free trial section. When you click it, you're going to see three versions of it. One is the open source version, Spark NLP for Healthcare, as well as Spark OCR. So I'll be using Spark NLP for Healthcare. If you're looking for a key, you can just, you know, try free in here. You can click there. It's going to ask you some additional information. Uh, you, can, you can fill up the form to get the JSON file. So just put it in your in your current folder, which, which I've done already, and call it in here. I'm running it. By using this, uh, this serial keys, it, it is defined to our environmental variables. And I'm going to install Spark NLP JSL. And after that, I'm going to start my session um it's, it's, it is showing you where it's loaded from or how it's loaded from or what it's loaded from so and also uh you can check like the the pipeline i'm going to use in here is going to be a restrained pipeline because the focus of, of this video is installation not not explaining is explaining the whole pipeline so i'm just running this and it is downloading the pre-trained model, as you can see, explain clinical doc, uh, pre-trained model, and I'm going to define it, and I'm going to print the stages right after it, and stages includes document assembler, sentencer, regular tokenizer, part of speech, assertion, and relation extraction model, and in order to apply this pipeline, I'm just putting an input text and I'm, I'm annotating that the text using the pipeline. Yeah, in here you can see the keys, the annotation keys, and uh, and I want to put it in a data frame. I forgot to install because I created the virtual environment. I forgot to install pandas. installing pandas then it's done 
I can run this. As you can see, there are like token, clinical NER tags, pathology NER tags, part of speech tags, as well as dependencies. So I'm sure you're gonna find many useful models from our models hub. Models hub.johnsnowlabs.com, there's a model section. When you click it here, you're gonna find uh, many informative models. According to your goal, you can pick any of them. For example, I'm just clicking one of them. And there's a description of the predicted entities as well as how you can import it. And if you're looking for additional information, you can just click here, open in Google Colab, and it's going to direct you to Google Colab. You can run all of your notebooks in here. And if you're looking for live demo, live demo, for example, there's the NER deep learning model, the uh, with the help of NER visualizer, you can visualize the NER tags in here. You can change the model. You can delete a tag. You can play around. Please check our website. I'm sure you're going to find many useful things in here. For example, name, identity, recognition, text classification, sentiment analysis, so on and so forth. I hope this video is useful for you. I'll see you next time. Good luck.